Welcome back to this garden bliss. Today we're going to be opening the waterfall you see behind me. It's been covered in a tarp through the winter. This year's a little different. We left the pump in, but elevated off the floor of the fountain. Uh, it's just getting too much uh, to rewire, recable the pump every year up to the electrical box up on the deck. So let's get to it and uncover it. Covering the waterfall for the winter months seems sort of redundant because it's meant to hold water, but it's the possibility of ice cracking the bowl and breaking the pump that I'm afraid of. Even though it's made of a poly resin or sturdy plastic, it seems strong enough. I just didn't want to take the chance. Covering the waterfall also helps with reducing the cleanup and getting it ready for the new garden season. All of our garden and outdoor furniture gets put on the deck and covered with a tarp during the winter months. So let's take a look and see how much water is in there. Okay, we've got about four inches of water, which is why we kept the pump on the chair elevated pretty high up, because I knew that water was gonna get in. So it's time to clean it up and let's get going. The water that I take out is poured on the plants or on the garden. This is also a good time to check for any evidence of where mice or little critters may have taken refuge over winter. It's also a good time to check the liner and for any chewed wires and other such damage. Hooking up the pump only requires the connection of the hose, as I decided to leave it under the tarp and not remove it as I've done in the past. The cinder block on the bottom is covered with the liner and then a large, heavy, thick piece of flagstone, which also supports multi-layer rocks for the waterfall. Now it's time to fill the bowl and start placing rocks for function and appearance. Pieces of flagstone are used as places for plants in the coming days to really enhance this focal point in our garden. Uh, we do get a little splash from the wind, but also we need to place some watch strategically so we don't get splashed on the side. It's also good to check for leaks where the plastic liner is underneath the rock. You know, always try to make sure you're not losing water. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.